Okay, welcome to Watch and Waiting on the Lord. Uh, today's Monday. Uh, I don't know what day it is. The 16th. Um, I want to share something today that uh, I don't have to give the date every day, but I want to share something that uh, that I saw about five years ago and um, and it should give you some hope and it's a vision and it's a vision from a Jewish boy a secular Jewish boy um, secular Jewish family which means that they, uh, they they're not practicing they're not practicing Jews I don't know um, I didn't look in depth about the story but I trust it, and I'll, I'll tell you the reasons why I, I trust it. So, I mean, especially now, especially now, it's a, uh, you know, it's a hard time, right? And you want to know there's hope, and uh, I, there's hope in this prophecy. This prophecy um, is, from what I believe, it's this is the seventh or eighth anniversary since he, since he gave this. And uh, also, I'll give you the overview of this, but just um, before I say that, I just wanted to say about this going on, you know, this war and stuff like that. Remember what I said to take a step back and just, just watch and, um, you know, I, I personally hope that the evil is, is gone and that they eradicate whatever evil it is and uh, that something can be worked out. I feel sorry for the Palestinians all the people cut off of water and all that type of stuff like I'm sure a lot they don't want this stuff um, and, and it's the same with people in Lebanon right but uh, it, Israel is justified in what they're gonna do and I believe in my heart that they are going to be they're being very careful about this because you know if they weren't they would have leveled the whole place okay and um, and I think that the, the side, the evil that has done this, which is Hamas, and let's just face it, Israel. No, it's not Israel, um, Iran is behind this. You just know it, right? If you're, a, if you're a Bible student, if you're just a believer, scholar, whatever, you know where it's coming from, and you know you're not stupid because of the news. Anyways, pray for those people. Um, you know, it does say in the Bible that when this is all over, that there will be a highway up to Syria, down to Israel. And, uh, you know, these people will be our, our brothers and sisters, the people who do who do make it, right? Um, is this going to end up at the Ezekiel 38 war? I have no idea. But when you look at it, look at it. Lebanon is attacking. Um, they're not full-scale attack yet. All these countries are on like the border, like Iran is on, I think they said Iran is on, um, or coming up to Israel's border with tanks and stuff like that. And so the United States is saying, hey, if you, you know, if Hezbollah comes in and tries to do this, and if Iran comes in and tries to do this, we have two carrier, you know, we have a strike group, we have people also all over the Middle East. And uh, I think what people don't understand, and, and okay, I know this as someone who did study weapons of war. Um, I don't like to, to do military talk in these videos, but if Israel is, if a, if a third front does open up, the United States can come in, they can take out every piece of armor that Iraq, that that Iran has, I know that um, the United States, they have certain technologies that they never use. Um, and I'm talking about, um, uh, what do you call it again? Conventional weapons, they have conventional weapons that they can use. Uh, I remember in Iraq, um, they use this w weapon once, only once in anger. And uh, I, I'm not sure, but maybe another country has this weapon because the state sold them one. They have like 
three or four thousand of them. It's called the center fused weapon. And you drop just one of them and it will take out 40 tanks. They have skeets that come out of it and they have sensors and they can tell friend from foe and they, they, they have a database of, of um, all the vehicles in the world, whether they're friend or foe, tank, light skinned vehicles and just one aircraft full of them can take out an entire division, divisions of tanks. So I'm not worried in that, you know, like totally being overwhelmed like that. It looks like it's building up to something that's that's um, that's looking like you know what everyone is thinking, but I don't know. I don't know. I have to sit and wait, right? Um, so I'm going to tell you about this vision, and I think it's important right now uh, to 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 look at this and to look and to see the possibilities of the things.